Hey everyone, it's Mary Beth from Mary Berry Studio. Today we are going to be planning for the month of March. I do apologize for this video being a little bit late, but your girl forgot that February is a short month, so I'm a little bit behind schedule. So you guys may have already realized that this month's theme is going to be Animal Crossing New Horizons! Woohoo! I am super, super excited for the release of the new game. I have been a big Animal Crossing fan for the longest time. I've played the GameCube game, DS game, the Wii game, all of them. I literally bought like a 3DS XL just so I could play New Leaf and I kind of did the same thing for the Switch. I literally only bought it so I can play New Horizons. Is that a good financial decision? No, not at all. I'm literally so insane for Animal Crossing that when New Leaf came out on the 3DS or DS as is, I wanted to get, I already had a 3DS, but I wanted the 3DS XL so I could play Animal Crossing on a larger screen. And they had a 3DS Animal Crossing bundle. So like the 3DS was all Animal Crossing theme. It also already had New Leaf downloaded onto the Animal Crossing 3DS. Well, I reserved it at GameStop and when I went on release day, the bundle package I reserved was not in yet and they said it was probably coming tomorrow. Well, me being impatient, I couldn't wait. So I went ahead and bought New Leaf as is just as a single game and played it on my old 3DS while I waited for my bundle to come in. So the next day, I returned the game that I bought, the regular New Leaf, and got my bundle and basically just restarted and had a new town because I needed to play New Leaf on the day that it came out. Hopefully that story makes sense, but it really shows how psycho I am for Animal Crossing. If you never played Animal Crossing, I highly recommend it if you're a fan of like Harvest Moon and like Stardew Valley. Just like really relaxing games that you play at your own pace. This is an awesome game. It's just, it's really relaxing. It's beautiful. It's fun. It's just, it's a classic. Especially when you grew up with Animal Crossing and you were a little kid playing on the GameCube. I'll never forget the first time I got stung by bees in the game and I thought that my character was going to look like that forever and I was like, oh my god, I have to restart. I messed up. Also, if you're wondering where I got these Animal Crossing themed stickers, I got them both from Moon Loom. I will link her shop down below. It's the Isabel stickers as well as the ones you see in the top right corner. It's like the little Animal Crossing icons. I'll be using them a little bit later, but oh my god, they're so cute and I had to have them. I also want to point out this peculiar, am I saying pe peculiar, uh, washi tape that I'm using. It's like stickers in a washi tape form. You guys may have seen it before, but it's literally like the strangest thing ever. And it's just like, stick it's stickers on a washi tape and it's still like the washi tape's like still sticky because like the stickers overlap over the sides and because of that cat hair if you have like any kind of pets gets stuck on it like fuzzies so it gets kind of like icky but the stickers are so cute but it's just such a strange concept i'm sure you can get them on aliexpress i'll look them up i had got them from some shop that i can't remember that probably did like drop shipping that i'm not going to support anymore but I'll try to find it for you guys. I'm also going to be sharing all the Animal Crossing photos that I use down below in the description box. They are mainly all just like screenshots from the trailers that Nintendo has shared. I do have one photo that's going to be on the document that is from Pocket Camp and it's from my friend DJ's camp because she has the most beautiful little Animal Crossing camp I've ever seen in my life and it's like cherry blossom and gorgeous and I'm just impressed. She puts a lot of time and effort into it. I'll also share her username down below if you want to see her camp or add her or whatever. It's real cute. So back to more bullet journal things. I'm writing out this month's goals for March. Some things that I want to do is I am ready to reopen my sticker shop on Etsy. I'm not going to be having as many releases as I wanted right now. I probably have about two, and it is like a tea time sticker sheet as well as a new cat sticker sheet. I also eventually want to make some clay pins that I'll be working on 
in March. Hopefully I do have some designs that I'm thinking of. And if you have any designs that you want to see, comment down below and I would love to make some. Maybe I could do some Animal Crossing ones. Does that make me crazy? Is that too much? <laughs> it would be fun though, but if you guys want to see that, let me know. Mainly in March, I just kind of want to chill out because I have been super overwhelmed from my job. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I just posted a little like venting session on my latest post. I've just been very burnt out from my job. I'm actually going to be going part-time in April to kind of combat that because it's just been a little bit too much. Um, I work at an urgent care and this month's flu season has been absolutely brutal. Now, it is going to get better as the summertime arrives, but your girl is like, oh... Right now, I just I just need to relax a little bit. I did do a lot of that in February, but I need to make sure I'm taking appropriate breaks in March so I don't burn out like that again. I really just kind of have to listen to my body, and if I need to take a nap or something, just dang do it, okay? <laughs> I just always feel so guilty whenever I relax. So yeah, that's definitely something I need to work on this month, and I'm sure many of you guys need to work on it too. I hear a lot of you guys say like similar things that you don't know how to take a break, and guys, burnout is terrible, and I'm sure you know. So to combat that, just really listen to your body, and if you need to take a 30-minute break, it's just 30 minutes. Just give it to yourself. Watch a nice YouTube video. You can watch one of my videos. <laughs> Or a nice little Netflix video, anything like that. You can play Animal Crossing. <laughs> you guys are probably like, Mary Beth, okay, we get it, shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I also think I'm going to be taking a class this month in March, actually. I'm going to be taking a nutrition class, which I need for a prerequisite for these graduate school programs that I'm applying to. And small little announcement, I did get an interview for one of the programs, so... Things are looking good, I think. I just had the interview on Tuesday, and I, I think it went really well. I hope that I get in, but I'm not going to be finding out any answers until probably late March and like early April. So I do have to wait a while, which is going to be a lot of suspense, but I'm hoping that I get accepted. I would be over the freaking moon if I do. I'd be so excited, but... Yeah, I'll be taking a class in March, and it's going to be an online one, which can tend to be a pain in the butt because online classes often don't feel like they're real and then you're actually taking them. I took an online class during my undergraduate, and the weird thing about un online classes is they tend not to believe in, like, fair deadlines. Like, I had an essay due on Thanksgiving Day, and I had no idea because it was Thanksgiving break and I thought that things couldn't be due on Thanksgiving break, but I was wrong and I missed the essay and I got a B in the class because of it. I was very upset. Now you guys probably noticed that I just made a critical error in my monthly calendar spread. I was trying to highlight every other uh, line and I ended up highlighting ones right next to each other. So. I was kind of like in the moment like, oh my god, oh no, how am I going to fix this? But I, I thought, let's try to make a band-aid kind of method where I cut out a sheet of my notebook paper in the back and make it, make this little scrap as large as my mistake and I covered it right up and boy, you can barely tell that I made a mistake. At least I think so. So after that, I'm going in with some washi tape as well as putting in some blue sparkles around the page because you guys know I don't like blank space for some reason. It makes me feel uncomfortable and that the spread feels unfinished. So I went ahead and did some little embellishments to the page and I... Oh, that was my chair. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. I think this spread really turned out cute and I'm really happy with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this plan with me and that I didn't drive you insane with all my Animal Crossing talk. 
Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy my work, be sure to check out my Patreon where I do stickers to your door every month, printables, all sorts of goodies, and check me out on Instagram at Maryberry Studio so you can see more of my spreads. I love you guys the most, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!